All right, here we are at the Salem YMCA. We're gonna go in here and get pumped up. Okay, here we are. We're getting ready to start working out. It's crucial to do a warm up before you do any major heavy lifting. We're going to do chest today, so it's going to be a big hard day of lifting. I keep my water with me, make sure I stay hydrated. I got an extra layer on top while I warm up. I've got to do that to get everything moving, get it flowing right. And uh, we're going to do about three to five minutes on uh, some piece of cardio, bike, treadmill, it doesn't matter. But you got to get three to five minutes to get your whole body warm up, get your blood flowing, get everything going, and then you're ready to start lifting some weights. All right, I'm doing my walking warm up. And one thing that is very important for me is to have my MP3 player. I get to load in all the songs I want from Corn to Kid Rock, Old School Run DMC, all that stuff that gets me hyped up. Gets your mind right, keeps you focused, and it keeps people from talking to you when you're in the gym, too. Here we are. We're going to start out with bench press. It's a tried and true mass builder. That's what my goal is to get bigger and get stronger. And uh, this is kind of tried and true. Do two sets of warm ups, and we'll do three warm uh, working sets to get the job done. Uh, I may do four or five, no more than five on this. That's all you need. If you get three or four real, true, hard, intense sets, you'll build all the mass you need. ready to be pumped up. Starting to get a little warm. Got a little sweat on my brow. That means you're, you're almost ready to lift heavy. over. Time to get the shirt off, time to get real, and time to start lifting some real weight. Working set number one, here we go. sets. You see a lot of people in the gym doing all these static stretches where they're grabbing stuff and trying to stretch it out. But they walk right in the gym and they start stretching it out. No, no, no. That's not what you want to do. So what you want to do is you want to do that three to five minute warm up and then you want to do some active stretches like this right here. Just get everything working. Do some wheels. Get all your shoulders moving right. Just do this kind of stuff right here. You know, if, you're, if you're doing chest arms, that's the stuff you want to do. Once you're done with all your lifting, that's when you want to do your static stretches. When you grab and stretch it out like that, get that muscle, get all those muscle fibers stretched out, get it filled back up with blood, oxygen, that's what you want.
Here's my workout. I did a three to five minute warm up on the treadmill, get everything nice and, and flowing. I did two sets of warm up on the flat, flat barbell bench. And then I did four working sets. I only did between six and 10 reps. I want to stay in that range because that's the best for building muscle. And then I did, after that, I did three sets of incline dumbbells, stayed in that eight to 10 rep range. And then I switched over to decline hammer strength. I did three sets. This time I switched it up a little bit. I did two sets of fairly heavy in that six rep range, and then I threw one in there a little bit lighter, and I did like 25 reps. And man, that, that just fried my chest. And then I switched over, and I did those uh, decline uh, cable crossovers. Really squeezed my chest, did three sets of that, stayed in that 10 rep range. Um, just trying to really get everything pumped, and then I finished it off with the, with the tricep extensions. And when I did those, I only did three sets, stayed in that 15 rep range. Last but not least, it is super, super important. Whenever you do a heavy workout, anything strenuous, you want to make sure that you replenish your body. So I'm going to finish up, and I'm going to get about 75 grams of, of uh, simple carbs and about 40 grams of protein, whey protein to go along with that. It places what I just spent. 